everybody. Today we're just off to get a ton of bag stuff, a ton of fertilizer, I should say, and um, we're just doing a few paddocks up behind the cows now, or slurrying them, um, give them a wee coat of watery slurry just as the cows come off, and then we're just coming along then and giving them, um, putting about two, two and a half bags an acre of 27 fertilizer, nitrogen, I am. Um, on top of that, just to kind of finish off, uh, more or less, the, the grazing um, growing platform for, for, for into autumn now. Um, so, we're in the first week of September. Temperature's still quite good. Actually, it's uh, 18 degrees today, so can't really complain there. Um, although, unfortunately, we're also having an awful lot of rain. Um, it has rained an awful lot now in the last five to six days and ground conditions are starting to deteriorate on the cow's feet. Um, gaps and drinkers and places that are starting to get quite messy now. So anything that gets tramped, unfortunately, it'll be a lot slower coming back. But we're hoping now, um, the general rule people used to say that when kids go back to school, the weather generally picks up. It's just as kind of a spake. It's there, but I know a couple of years ago when we had that real wet year, it meant nothing. I've seen other years where it did actually pick up at the beginning of September, but um, it's warm at the moment anyway. Grass is still growing, but though it is a lot cooler at night. Um, but look at we see how it goes. We've got a couple of dry days, it didn't mean an awful lot. But the sunshine wouldn't go amiss either. Um, you know, at this time of year now, and the, the nights are starting to pull in. It's dark now at what, a quarter to nine or so, and you're losing about 15 minutes nearly every week. Well, almost 15 minutes every week, you may say, um, you're losing in the evening. So, but it's that time of year, it can seem to creep up on us fairly fast. It's been a funny old year, a good year for growing grass. Um, definitely, it's been a good year that way, but it's just been a, you know, a mix. The springtime was a bit funny with the type of weather that we had. And, um, you know, it, it was hard to read what time of year it was at different months of the summer, but hopefully we get a few extra weeks. The good thing about the year is there was plenty of, um, plenty of, plenty of stuff made, plenty of silage made. Um, you know, and, Plenty of fun of the year, definitely should be plenty of fun of the year. Um, and hopefully, now you know, unless cows have to win earlier or springtime comes late, but hopefully, now there'll be everything will be good. So, we're just coming into our first paddock here, and um, we have our we have one paddock already sold, and um, so gonna start this one just starting to rain again uh, like kind of a drizzle don't do any harm but uh, we like to get the sower emptied so we don't have a cover on our sower so we'd like to get it emptied before it starts to rain too heavy um, so. so this will just give it a top up grass is still growing well this paddock was at only um, what was it only four days ago and it's already got a nice coat uh, got a nice coating of slurry as well so um my fields are growing well uh, but now that it's the first week of september we're starting to do our last run of, of fertilizer um hopefully the temperatures will remain good. I think it's given for the rest of the week, it's given fairly good temperature. So, you know, we're roughly around anything from 18 up to 20, 21 degrees, like so. It's going to be quite humid. Um, as long as it just doesn't rain too much, that just seems to be the biggest problem. Um, and all it seems to be the problem every every year now, gosh, especially I guess this time of year. So, yeah, this is an Amazon 902. 
good tour. We'll have a little look at it when we're finished. Um, so we we'll just continue on to get these last few paddocks done. We'll get it washed down, the sewer washed down, and then we're off to do a bit of post driving um, on our out farm uh, for the evening. Um, we have about 30 posts to drive from sheep wire to put up around uh, round bales that we made um, a week ago, so just to protect them. doing this video here I'd like to give a shout out to um, a fellow I've been talking to on, on Facebook a few times he just gave me a few tips and different things to do and I um, started watching his videos it kind of got me into thinking of doing a few of my own as well after watching his but that's Jerry 6420 um, so thanks Jerry Jerry's a great man there you send him a message he always messages you back um, the lad seems to have a great knowledge on things um, and a very nice lad, I have to say a very very nice lad. So uh, thanks Jerry, big shout out to you and any of you that haven't been on Jerry's channel, um, just do so because he has quite a few videos up there and, and uh, he looks after his machinery very well. He has a great selection of machinery so there's something there that will nearly interest everybody, especially if you're a John Deere man, because uh, definitely Jerry likes his John Deere's, there's no doubt about that. So, um, yeah, he's definitely one man to check out. There are a few other channels that I do watch um, from time to time, and one would be The Funky Farmer, um, an English channel. Um, quite a, a lot of videos on, he's a family man, he's making like ourselves. Um, there's uh, Farmer P, and then there's Farmer Phil, of course, Longford, not too far away from us. Um, so they're, they're very good channels. Uh, there's, there's loads more, there's loads more channels as well, there's any amount of them, but they're the few that I would uh, definitely would watch. So that's it now, um, that's the last of our paddocks sold. Um, hopefully now they'll, it'll uh, take in nicely and we'll not get too much rain and uh, we get another nice growth of that now in the next few days um, you see yeah this is the sower that we have here um, so as I was saying it's a, it's a 902 uh, Amazon ZAX perfect um, we have that sower since 2009 yeah 2009 it wasn't brand new when we got it yeah I think it had been at the plowing match the national plowing match and it was on demo and we picked it up in the local um, dealer a few weeks after the plowing was over so there was a few scratches and things on it but it was generally new you know it wasn't used for sowing fertilizer anyway so um, a good sower um, I like it a lot it sows very evenly um, very easy set uh, everything about it is generally straightforward um, starting to get a little bit of rust here and there on it now we do wash it straight after it's used every time we wash it wash it down well and in the winter time we put a little bit of, of uh, a little coating of diesel actually um, on the inside of the saw um, something my father used to do and uh, Something I kept doing, and it does seem to help the inside because the inside of that sore is in fairly good condition now. There's, you know, the bits of rust that's on it are very minor. Um, we fitted a set of LED lights on the back, and um, we had them in the shed 
when the solar came and I just said sure look at my heart to throw them on and have them on and you know sometimes if a car was very close behind you and the solar is quite high up um, it's you know, it's hard enough to see the lights in the back of the tractor so it definitely it should look at they're there and they were there to be used and you know uh, it worked out well so that's it for this video uh, if you like what you've seen um, please give us a like and um, you know subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching bye now